Well, hello. I'm back. Hope you missed me. <laughs> well, today we are at a uh, quarry uh, and we're going to look for uh, Cretaceous fossils today. Um, it's um, yeah, a gravel quarry in uh, Skåne, Sweden. Um, and this uh, quarry is known for uh, shark's teeth and uh, yeah, you can also find uh, marine predatory reptiles such as uh, plesiosaurs and uh, mosasaurs. Um, and what we are after is the remains of those creatures. And uh, you can also find some brachiopods and uh, even uh, yeah, perhaps some bone from various uh, fish and reptiles. So uh, let's uh, hope uh, we'll find something interesting today. And I'll keep you updated as always. And, uh, I'll show you around. So see you in a bit. I think it's gonna be a uh, quite a hot day today. It's uh, been raining for on on and off for a couple of days. So uh, the uh, the gravel is uh, is a little wet, but uh, I hope the sift. Well, we're gonna sift today. Maybe I didn't tell tell you that in the beginning, but uh, we're gonna sift for teeth. And uh, as I work my way down, uh, I'll surface. Uh, watch for uh, teeth on the surface as well because when it has rained it sometimes is easier to spot teeth and other fossils but the water has run through so uh, we're gonna look for uh, yeah surface collecting as well today and uh, we're gonna start heading down to the quarry uh, where the spot is and I'm gonna sift and uh, yeah just uh, Taking a moment and uh, explore this uh, this waterway here. The water has been uh, washing off the rocks and uh, and uh, perhaps left some cool stuff laying around. So the first fossil and uh, these are very common here in this quarry is a uh, partial belemnite. Oh, um, there it goes. Better zoom. This is a uh, broken off one. This is a squid like creature. The inner rostrum or the inner shell would have been uh, about this length. Looks like a uh, candlestick almost. Or well, candle, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, not the most intriguing fossil uh, so far, but uh, still a nice uh, find. So let's keep looking. Nothing in uh, particular turned up at the uh, creek, bit of creek. Uh, so I'm uh, heading down to the uh, main quarry instead. And uh, as you can see, there are piles and piles of, of gravel here. And uh, if you do consider visiting a place like this, you should be aware that the, uh, the quarry walls are quite dangerous and shouldn't climb around and uh, yeah safety first as you know so uh, well let's continue down to the uh, to the main site I'm gonna do some various sifting I'm also gonna look through uh, boulders like these because they uh, often contains brachiopods oysters clams various other fossils, sometimes even teeth. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's keep heading down to the quarry. I'll give you an update when I start finding the good, good stuff. So I've just started exploring uh, this uh, gravel pile and uh, uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll uh, surface, uh, spot the surface before I start digging, because uh, sometimes after after rains and stuff uh, there are some fossils uh, flushed out from the from the gravel. So on the first fossils I spotted is uh, these uh, Cretaceous sea urchin clubs spines. Come on, focus, please. 
focus. Oh, if you can see it, it's a uh, just one focus. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Small uh, club like spines, and there are quite a few of these and other sizes as well and shapes. So they're from different kind of echinoids living here during the uh, late uh, Upper Cretaceous, around 80-85 million years ago or so. So it's actually the the height of the dinosaur era, if you will. And uh, yeah, there's another one. And a piece of oyster as well. Uh, I'll keep looking and I'll give you an update as I find uh, fossils. Well, I've uh, found a uh, piece of a... Uh, actually this is a uh, solitary coral. I don't know, I don't remember what its species, what the species name is, but it's a uh, Cretaceous uh, solitary small uh, coral. It's a bit worn, but uh, still a cool find. Could clean up pretty nice, perhaps. I'll uh, get hold of this, bring it home, and uh, I'll see if it will clean up a bit. Cool. So uh, what we have here is a, a pretty large uh, sea urchin uh, spike spine, uh, and a uh, piece of bone actually. I don't know if this could be perhaps some turtle shell or uh, maybe some other piece of a larger bone. It's, uh, yeah, you gotta have some further studying and cleaning. But it's uh, a cool find and I'll, I'll keep this one for, for further studying, I think. Cool, let's continue. I just came across this uh, fractured busted uh, shark tooth it's a, uh, a, a well it was a uh, fairly large uh, squally corax uh, shark at some point <laughs> and not much uh, not much to show for yet but uh, at least it's an indication that there are teeth hiding here so um, oops. I'm not gonna keep this one uh, but it's still cool to see it's nice to, to be able to show you uh, that there are uh, perhaps some teeth lurking about. So uh, let's keep searching. So we uh, got ourselves a complete tooth. Can you spot it? <laughs> it's not easy, but it's a... Uh, well, I haven't extracted it yet, but uh, you can see it here. There it is. It's a... Uh, well... I don't know if, if it's uh, called, uh, let's see, it's pretty tiny, but still a really cool tooth. Uh, oh, all the, the sand is, is wet, so it's stuck to it. To it. Look, it's got some, uh, got some damage to the, uh, to the tip. Uh, I don't know if it's feeding damage or uh, well, most likely, uh, but it's got the uh, side cusps intact. I think this one is a uh, Creta lamina. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be Archaea lamina or something, maybe. But I think this is Creta lamina. Uh, there's, if there is anyone specialist in shark teeth, you uh, can more than welcome to com comment if you know the exact species, but it's, uh, it's a nice tooth, uh, the root is intact and uh, pretty big side cusps. I'm very happy with this find. This was uh, just lying on the surface, just like that. Happy days! Well, I've uh, started the uh, sifting and I think uh, I've done about uh, four or five of these scoops. Uh, you can take too much at a time when it's uh, kind of wet, so uh, I have to take a little at a time and uh, make sure I go through everything. But I think I have found something really cool. Let's see if it's complete. It's pretty tiny, but still 
Oh, I think this is a nice one. Yeah, it is. Oh my God. <laughs> this, guys, is actually a crocodile tooth. And the, uh, the species in question is, uh, is a marine crocodile called Aegialosuchus. And it's a marine reptile. And uh, yeah, this is a complete tooth. They are, well, they're known to be here. Not super, super rare, but still uh, pretty rare. Exceptionally uh, large um, teeth. It could be uh, about, well, an inch or so in, uh, in height. Maybe something, some, maybe a little bit more. But uh, this one is about one, one centimeter, I guess. But it's a uh, complete, uh, and the all animal is all there, and uh, yeah, the tip is there. Uh, yeah, it's a really nice tooth, actually. I'm very, very happy with this one. <laughs> this will go straight into the collection. Happy days! Wow, guys. <laughs> Look what just turned up in this sifter. My god. Look at that size. Wow. That's a huge tooth. Unfortunately it's broken off. But uh wow, I mean that's a cool find. I don't know if this is uh I think it's if you look at the animal, it looks like a crocodile to me. Uh, but it could also be a mosasaur. Or even perhaps plesiosaur, I'm not even sure. I don't think it's plesiosaur. Uh, I think it's a huge croc. Uh, well, it's definitely a, a keeper. I've never found a, uh, a tooth this big here. Uh, it's a shame it's not complete, but still a super cool find I'm definitely gonna keep this well <laughs> let's head on seems to be a good spot so we got ourselves a shark tooth um, I don't know which species it is it's uh, unfortunately broken off in half I uh, believe it to be a quali uh partial one I'll uh, yeah, I'll uh, hold on to this one for uh, for now, and let's see what else uh, turns up. It's still cool, cool to see. Look at the serrations on the edge there. You can tell it's it's made for uh, slicing and cutting meat. Pretty cool find. Let's go continue. Yeah, let's try and sift this. <laughs> let's see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing to do. Should have another camera, not all. But uh, ah, come on. Thought it would be nice for you to see the, the actual process of extracting these fossils. Well, I'm gonna sift this through, and then I'll go it through with you. When I'm done, I can't hold it with my just one hand; it's too heavy. I'll see you again in a clip. So, let's see if there is anything hiding in this, this rubble. I usually do sift it to one side and then I can, I can go through it. Slow and steady. So let's see if anything turns up here. It's quite a time consuming process this. You have to be patient. Looking for treasure. Oh, there's a tooth. Well, that's a little little guy. But it's a uh, shark tooth, nonetheless. This is a uh, rootless specimen. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty small. But uh, still a shark tooth, so uh, I'm happy about that. Let's go, continue. See if there is anything else in this this pile not 
much as it seems. What's that? No, that's just a it's just a tooth shaped rock, seems like. Hmm. Yeah it is. Fooled me. Another tooth shaped rock. <laughs> Well, if it's too easy to... Oh, wait a minute. I think we have something poking out of this piece of matrix. Hmm, wow. There is definitely a tooth hiding there. Well, I'll see if I can uh, gently uh, get it out of there and I'll show you what I've uh, potentially found. See you in a bit. Well, it was a uh, rootless uh, Squalicorex uh, shark tooth in that piece of matrix. It's uh, kind of an odd, oddly shaped uh, shark tooth. Almost looked like a triangle uh, on the uh, yeah screwed one, <laughs> screwed triangle. There should be a, a, uh, a root on the top here, and that's missing in this example. But it's still a cool uh, tooth to find. The animal is well preserved, so uh, and the serrations are are there on the sides. So um, well, let's keep this and continue.